Very good, Reg. Very good indeed. Yes, it's turned out very nicely. Oh, yes. We'll go into production immediately. The Fenner Fashion Cocktail Dress Deluxe. Oh, Mr. Fenner, let's call it something classier than that. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, um, exotic nights. Oh, no, Reg, I've got to go out and sell these, you know. I can't go to a buyer and say, would you like a dozen exotic nights at three quid a time? <laughs> No, no. In any case, these are only cheap little dresses knocked out in 20 minutes. No, you'll have to do better than that, exotic nights indeed. Well, how about snogging in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> Here, Mr. Fenner, do you think they'll knock those out in 20 minutes? That's going a bit, you know. Of course they will. We're reorganised now, you know. Now that I've got my desk in the workroom, oh, yes, we are going to do things according to the book. No, I still don't think they'll stand for it. Of course they will, Rich. They realise it is for their own benefit. And I don't think they mind my desk being there. In fact, I think they rather like it. Having another man around the place, you know? Oh, yes, I think they like it. Do it properly, do it now. I'll do him properly and now. He's got no right to have his desk in here, dirty rotten knock. <laughs> we don't want him spying on us. Here, where's the glue? I'll gum up his ballpoint. Now, brother, <laughs> brother, Carol, please, no need to resort to childishness. Look, don't worry, our plan will work. Now, have you all read your copies of the Factories Act? Oh, uh, the what? The book I gave you, like this one. Regulations and precautions, provisions for safety, health and welfare in factories or places where one or more persons are employed in manual processes, consolidating and modifying all previous acts hitherto. Did you read it? Oh, I tried, but I didn't like the story. <laughs> I think I'll wait for the film to come out. <laughs> oh, Lil, this is the Factories Act. Oh, what's that for? Look, you've heard of working to rule. Yes. Well, in this book, the government tells you how to do it. They're experts. Come on now, girls, back to your benches. We're trying to step up efficiency. Oh, dear. That's right. Do it properly. Do it now. I oh, know, Mr. Fenner. We're just getting ready to do it properly any minute now. Now, girls, the sections that Reg is handing out are for the new blue cocktail dress. I want a dozen altogether, and each dress is to be made in 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, you can do it in 20 minutes easily. Remember, from now on, we are doing everything according to the book. Hear, hear, Mr. Fenner. As a responsible shop steward, I shall insist upon it. Get cracking, girls. Come on. Thank you, Paddy. There you are, you see, Reg. What did I tell you? The finest bunch of girls in the business. They may look a bit rough, but underneath they are shabby overalls. They are wearing grubby clothes. <laughs> You're too cynical. They're not right at all, no. Stop work. <laughs> what are you stopping for? You're not starting a strike? No, Mr. Ben, a fire drill. It's the fire whistle. No. Get back to work. We'll have a fire drill some other time when we're slack. Yeah, and when we get too slack, we'll have a real fire. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no fire drill, and that's that. Right. <laughs> Stop work. Everybody out. <laughs> what are you stopping for? We can't possibly work here, Mr. Fenner. It's not safe. No, according to Section 52 of the Factories Act, we must have monthly fire drill. Oh, blimey. She's right, you know, Mr. Fenner. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I think we haven't had one for years. <laughs> well, that's only because we've never got around to it. Well, no, Mr. Fenner. Look, we haven't got a leg to stand on. All right, if it says so in the Factory Act, all right. Have a fire drill. <laughs> Strike over. Everybody back. <laughs> Everybody stop! Fire drill! This is lunacy, Paddy, with two whistles. Blimey, let's hope she don't blow them both together, otherwise we'll have the fireman out as well. <laughs> <laughs> now look, uh, Reg, we'll just better humour her, you yeah. see. Right, we'll just go through the motions. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, on hearing three blasts of the fire whistle, all personnel will proceed to assembly point A. Right, come on, Paddy, get blasting. A? Now, on the whistle. Oh, yeah. Oh, wrong whistle. Up. <laughs> Personnel will proceed to leave the building in a quiet, orderly manner, under the supervision of the warden, i.e. Reg Turner. Right, warden. Are all the girls mustered? Well, some of them are at the back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that big blonde bit. <laughs> it's your job to put the fires out, not to start them. Now, are all the personnel assembled? Well, I'll have a look. Let's have a look now. I'll have a check. All right, Lil, where's Lil? Where's Lil? Lil, Lil! Here I am. I had to go back for me pussy to pieces. <laughs> Lil, if there was a real fire, you'd have to leave them there. Oh, I couldn't do that. 
My pussy doesn't like fried fish. <laughs> right, fire drill over. Get back to work. Oh, no, no, he can't possibly get back to work, Mr Fenner. No, according to the Why Factories the... Act, all firefighting appliances must be thoroughly checked. Rich, get the list and check the firefighting appliances. Of course, Mr Fenner. <laughs> hey, where are they? Reg. Well, I've only been here four years. <laughs> On the wall. Oh, of course they are, yes. Look at that. Marvellous. All in order, you see, Paddy. Oh, no, no, no. Just a minute, Mr. Fenner. No, there's one helmet missing. Where's the other helmet? Oh, I'll get it. It's in the restroom. <laughs> All good stuff. I know it is. Where, Marvellous stuff. Where'd you get it me. from? This? Yeah. I got it cheap. It was damaged by fire. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you see, Paddy? All in order. Yeah, wait a minute. I can't use this. It says, turn upside down and strike knob. I never worked this standing on my head. <laughs> Not you, Carol, the extinguisher. Oh, I yeah. see. No! No, don't do it now. You'll have all that foam come out. We'll never get it back through that little hole. <laughs> oh, I found the other helmet. Oh, I hope you didn't mind me using it. <laughs> Lily, dear, these are for firemen, not the flower pot men. <laughs> now, come on, girls. These dresses have got to be knocked up in 20 minutes. Now, get back to work. The fire drill's over. No, we can't go back to work yet, Mr. Fenner. No, we've done had our drill, but we haven't had our firefighting practice. Must have our firefighting mm, practice. Yes. Yes, so, section 45. Yes. Firefighting team, forward. Uh, they're right, Mr. Fenner. I'll only take a minute. Carol, you take the nozzle. Yeah, we're well, right. Oh, I'm the Lil the bucket. <laughs> Lil the bucket. Yeah. You take the pump, Penny. Right. Right, right. 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 Right now, there's a fire under Mr. Fenner's desk. Ooh. What is your first duty? Keep it going until the fire brigade arrives. <laughs> Don't mess up about, Carol. There's the fire! Oh, oh! Oh, I can't see no fire! Lil, you have to imagine it. Oh, let's imagine it's out. No. We can't imagine it's out. We haven't put it out. No? No. Look, Lil, when I say there's a fire, I don't mean it really mean there's a fire. No? Huh? No. Oh, blimey, look, there's the fire. Oh. Stand back, Lil, the flame. Ah! Oh. Lil, what's the matter? I'm overcome by smoke. Oh. <laughs> Reg, they're mucking you about. Get back to cutting up the blue velvet. That's yes, all right. Right, now, I'll, ta I'll supervise this. Hurry up, girls. Now, hurry up. You're all just coming out. Here it comes. Keep the pressure up, Paddy. Oh, blimey. I punctured my spare tyre. <laughs> well, you've got a pump. Pump it up. Oh, no, I can't. I run out of water. Lily, fill me up. I've run out. Oh, well, go and get some water in the bucket. No, Lil, it's only practice. Just pretend you filled it. Oh. Lil, don't leave it there. Fill up mine. I'm empty. <laughs> so is this one. <laughs> no, you've just filled it. I've just filled it? Yeah. Oh, well, I can't pick it up then. Why not? Uh, it's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Lil, that is not. Empty. Well, where's all the water gone? It's all coming out the nozzle. Look, here goes. Shh. Look out. Right now, the fire practice is over. Now get back to work, and congratulations, you have put out the fire. Oh no, we haven't. No, it's spreading all over the place. Oh, <laughs> shocking! Oh, I'll yeah. never get it out with this. I'll have to use the big hose, I think. It's only an imaginary fire, you know. Yeah, well, I've got a very vivid imagination. <laughs> woo! Woo! woo, woo. <laughs> I hope I've got enough shushies for this one. <laughs> oh, Carol, that's the crow. Yeah, well. I've got that all dream, you see. Right. <laughs> Good. Fire practice over? Yes. Uh, water on, Lily. Water on. Water on? I thought you said the fire practice was over. Yes. Tea break started. <laughs> Tell you girls, we won. I knew Fenner would get to give in. Yeah, oh, I don't say as I blame him either. 35 fire drills in one week. Well, he owes it to us. One a month for three years. Yeah, but 35, Pad. Even real firemen don't do that. Oh, good job, too. They'd wear out their poles. <laughs> I've been working out the cost in on the blue velvet cocktail dresses, and thanks to your mucking about, I shall have to ask the buyer 30 quid instead of three pounds. Be, she'll be here in ten minutes, you know. Now, Carol, where's Carol? Is she ready? Carol? Oh, I'm Car sorry, I'm so long. Oh, sorry. Oh, you knew you was doing the modelling. She'd have been ready hours ago. Well, I didn't know this dress had a square neckline. This morning I only washed for a V. <laughs> <laughs> it was an emergency. 
Andy, I have to have a quick slosh round with the flannel. Well, we've all got to make sacrifices. Oh, dear, no, it won't do. No, no, Rick, I can't ask 30 quid for this. No, no, it would be downright dishonest. Well, it's never bothered you before. <laughs> if I know that. I mean, how dare you? No, no, it's no good. I shall have to lay off some workers. Hey? Oh, how typical. Marvellous, isn't it? We work our fingers to the bone. The management can't even sell the product. All right, if you think you're so clever, you try asking 30 quid for that. Well, it's not our job. Well, I'm fed up with doing it. You ever go yourselves. What? Yes, you. You've got the whip hand. You do the flogging. <laughs> the buyer will be here in ten minutes. Have a go. Come on, Lil. The buyer's here. We've got to start selling. Oh, do I look sophisticated? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you knew such words. Oh, why is it rude? No. Right, Lil, start forward. Are you all ready with your sales talk? Yes. What do we say? Lil, we told you. You've got to use the slogans like on the telly. You know, in the commercials. Oh. You can sell anything with them. Yeah, anything we hope. Ah, <coughs> oh, good morning, Miss Clayton. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm Patty Fleming and this is Lily Swan, both of Fenner Fashion Sales staff. <laughs> Call it the Fenner sign for happy motoring. <laughs> creation in the new blue velvet modelled by the newer and bluer Miss Carol who has just done the window test. <laughs> Look at it Miss Clayton. It's a picture of temptation. Remember our slogan, you're never alone girls in a Fenner fashion. <laughs> Fenner fashions give a woman man appeal and they're so easy to serve. <laughs> Gorgeous isn't it Miss Clayton, out of this world. Yes, well, it uh, seems adequate. I understand they are available in the usual range. Oh, yes, small, medium and the large family size. <laughs> available from all chemists. <laughs> in a better fashion, you'll never be one degree under. Well, hardly ever. <laughs> Wear this and your best friends will tell you. Uh, this is not just a dress, it's more than a dress, it's a tonic. You'll feel younger, livelier and... Um, and it's so kind to your stomach. Uh, 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 she means it's form flattery. And it spreads like butter. <laughs> this symphony of blue velvet is lined throughout with white silk. Yes, just the thing for inner cleanliness. <laughs> yes, sir, is Mr. Fenner around? I would rather like to know the price. Oh, we can tell you the price. It's, uh... At uh, 30 pounds. Oh, very reasonable. Is it? Oh, yes, that's the price I had in mind. 30 pounds for the dozen. Oh, no, not for the dozen, for the each. Yes, for the single per garment. 30 pounds. <laughs> Quite out of the question. We'd never sell them. Now, our customers only pay that sort of money for a, an exclusive French model. Yes, well, this is an exclusive French model, isn't it, girls? Yeah. Mr. Fenner said this model was designed by his... Uh, Form and cutter. Did he? Yes, well, he is uh, French, Francais, he is, yes. He didn't mention it to you, Mr. Fenner didn't mention it to you, because he knew that you, with your flair for clothes, I mean, <laughs> you would be able to know just by looking at the garment that it was the only, French, you know. Only teasing you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Simply reeks of Paris, yes, he must be very talented, has the top. <laughs> how do you do, Miss Clayton? Oh. I just wondered how things were going. Oh, quite nicely. I think I'll take them. <laughs> you, you will? Yes, I do like the design. And I simply must meet your designer. Well, he's just a simple lad. If we're having lunch together, do you think he might join us? That is very unusual, but of course, if it gives you pleasure. Oh, to save embarrassment, um, I must ask you one thing. Does he speak good English? Well, most of the time, yes. <laughs> Just the occasional lapse when he gets his finger caught in the pink in shears. <laughs> uh, well, look, uh, Miss Clayton, shall we go over to the restaurant? And girls, will you ask Reg to join us later? Uh, Henri, you mean Henri. Do I? Yes, Henri, the French designer. Henri? Mm. Oh, oui, oui, oh la la! <laughs> Henri? Y yes, Henri. The French designer from France what took over from Reg and designed this dress what cost 30 quid. <laughs> yes, of course, yes. I can never remember the names of my staff. <laughs> no, he's always forgetting names, yeah. Keeps calling me Harold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, uh, shall we go on ahead and maybe Henri can join us later? Oh, I'm so excited. 
I've got an absolute thing about Frenchmen. Have you? Yes. I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> Sure. Right, uh, we don't want this. Mm. A bottle of Vin Rouge, please, waiter. Yeah. And we can drink to our mutual success. Oh, I'm sure the blue velvets will be very popular. The buyers in my store always say that you can't go wrong with a French designer. Well, there's always a first time. <laughs> <coughs> Monsieur Henri. Hello. Oh, God. Let's <laughs> <laughs> kiss the hand. Oh, yes. <laughs> Enchanté, mademoiselle. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> uh, oh, <coughs> Monsieur Henri, it's very nice to have you with us. Enchanté, Monsieur Fernand. <laughs> well, uh, what about ordering? I say, don't you think it would be a good idea to let Henri order for us? They do understand about food, these Continentals. <laughs> but uh, this is in French. <laughs> oh, oui. Uh, guess on, guess on. Monsieur? Mm. <laughs> uh, do you speak French? Si je parle français, moi, je suis né à Panam, un titi four pour rien. Vous voulez commander quelque chose? À votre service. Because. <laughs> well, in, the, in that case, uh, could you bring us uh, three portions of uh, this, 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 and uh, and this? This, 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 and this. Oui, oh. I say, Henri, I'm so excited. I've never met a French designer before. You come from Paris, of course? But of course. Oh, I know it well. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't actually come from Paris itself. He comes from a little country village just outside. Uh, really? Yes. Which one? Um, uh, Stockholm. <laughs> <laughs> No, but his mother came from there. <laughs> oh, Dave, yes, of course, she was Spanish. <laughs> you see, it's all to do with the common market. <laughs> his mother was very common. <laughs> and the market being what it is. Uh, but who are we to go into his personal life? Bottoms up. <laughs> <laughs> That was excellent. I'm so glad we let Henri choose the meal. <laughs> I take it we can clinch the order. <laughs> but of course, why not, mademoiselle? Of course. I think it's a fabulous design. <laughs> Call me Eileen. Eileen, of course. Did I ever tell you how beautiful you are? No. Oh, you you do something to me. You know, you make me feel so excited. I, I get a strange sort of feeling stirring inside me. <sighs> so do I. I think it must be the fried octopus. <laughs> it's taking a walk. <laughs> oh, Monsieur Fenner. He is so drunk, so amusing. <laughs> you excite me. Oh. <laughs> Have you got a match? <laughs> You've got the order. What more do you want? Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, 
Don't overdo it. Get the check for the garment. I'll see you. Miss Clayton. <clears throat> Miss Clayton. Uh, <clears throat> Miss Clayton, far be it from me to let commerce raise its ugly head. <laughs> but I wonder if I could bother you for the check. Today? It's not customary. Well, uh, not in England, perhaps, but in France, yes. Well, the French way is good enough for me. <laughs> I'll give you the check when we get back to the office. <laughs> Viva l'entente cordiale. Granted. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Oh, I leave. Oh, <laughs> Please, you find your own girl. <laughs> Never have one to me before. <laughs> You're so friendly. I'm so friendly, aren't I? I'm so friendly. Oh, I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. I know. It's because of this. Don't think. I'm not sure, but I think he swallowed one of your earrings. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? What's going on? He, he read just brought that girl back. Oh, no. He's got the French film in there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there you are. Are they still at it? Yeah. You'd better get in there and break it up. Oh, no, leave me alone. Anyway, what are you worried about? You've got the check. Reggie sold the dresses. I know, but I think he's included himself in the deal. <laughs> She's invited him back to our flat. Oh, has he accepted? He suggested it. <laughs> You'd better get in there and break it up before she finds out he's not really French. Oh, blimey. It, oh, I mean. Well, you invented him. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll uninvent him. Leave it to me, I'll break it up. <laughs> come on, here, oh. break it up, you two. Come on. I knew you were going out to lunch together. You don't have to come back here for afters. <laughs> Eddie, get back to your bench. I say, do you mind not interrupting? We're busy. Do you mind? I'm his wife. Hey? I didn't even know I had a wife. Well, you have now, mate, and don't you forget it. Yes, he, he married me when he came to work here. Oh, you can't trust him. Oh, when I think of all the things he said to me. Yes, yeah, said the same things to me. Filthy. <laughs> Garlic made it worse. <laughs> oh, what an absolute ass I've made of myself. But he did say he wasn't married. Yes, he's always saying things like that. You, double-dealing Frenchman, you. Sacre bleu, knit. Sale kosher, grand chlamiel. Ooh, Boona can't get away with this. Prenessa. Oh, hey, sir. Hey, sir. Je vous give you a donné um, grand punch at the Utah. <laughs> oh, I speak the French, you know. I say, look, there must be some explanation. No, oh, you want to forget all about it. Yes. Oh, but I leave. Oh, you better. <laughs> Yes, I'm afraid it doesn't look like a very happy marriage to me. Oh, they're not married. <laughs> not married? No, they're just good friends. <laughs> Something very suspicious going on here. Mr. Fenner? Oh, the game's up. She's rumbled it. Look, take this check to the bank and cash it before they close. Yeah, right. right, right. Ah, <laughs> Mr. Fenner. Uh, Miss Clayton, is something wrong? Yes, it's this man. What sort of a game has he been playing with me? Well, I wouldn't know. They're very hot-blooded, the French. <laughs> he's not French, he's English. He isn't. He is. Well, I was convinced that he was French. Miss Clayton, this has nothing to do with me. He had me completely fooled. Oh, but I might have known that shifty look. Oh, how dare you? You, an Englishman, nibble in a lady's ear. It's unhealthy. Uh, Miss Clayton, I hope and trust that this will not affect our professional relationship. But if you've worked together all this time, you must have known. I mean, look at that moustache. Oh, oh no, no. Honey, and the wig. <laughs> That's as false as the moustache. The wig. No, no, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, no. Oh, oh, and very well stuck on. Oh, no. You must appreciate, Mr. Fenner, that under the circumstances, I have no alternative but to cancel my order. Uh, Miss Clayton, now, please, let us not be too hasty. After all, you must admit that you did like his design. He's a very talented boy, but warped. 
It's no use making excuses, Mr. Fenner. I'm cancelling my order. Would you please hand me back my cheque? Oh, what a pity. I've just this minute sent it round to the bank. Oh, then I'll have to ring up and have it stopped. We've got to get her away from that phone. Yes, yes, I'll think of something. Where are you? Oh, I know, quick. What's that? What's that? What's that noise? Fire! Everybody abandon the building! Fire! Oh, thank you, Rach. Lovely. Everybody out! Miss <laughs> Clayton. What? Ladies first. Yes. Fireman's lift. Oh, I hear. Oh, oh, Rach. Oh, Rach. Oh, oh, here. Oh, please, sir. I, I say, do be careful. Oh, I just pressed the button because... Oh, well, never mind. Here, Mr. Fenner, it's, it's, it's all right. I've got rid of Eason. Yes, she yes. was so concerned about the fire, she forgot to cancel the cheque. Yes. So I put her in a taxi and she went home. Oh, well done, <laughs> Reg. <laughs> Juicy a lot, politesse. Oh, the nerve of it. I'm livid. Blinking bank. Did you get there in time to cash the cheque? Yeah, I got there ten minutes before closing time. Couldn't get served. Why not? Them blooming bank clerks. You know what they're up to? They're working to rule. I'm going to report them to the TUC. What for? Well, it's not their flipping turn. <laughs> Never mind, Mr. Fenner. Say la guerre. Rich, take it easy now. Please, Rich. No, please. <laughs> Very good, Reg. Very good indeed. Yes, it's turned out very nicely. Oh, yes. We'll go into production immediately. The Fenner Fashion Cocktail Dress Deluxe. Oh, Mr. Fenner, let's call it something classier than that. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, um, exotic nights. Oh, no, Reg, I've got to go out and sell these, you know. I can't go to a buyer and say, would you like a dozen exotic nights at three quid a time? <laughs> No, no. In any case, these are only cheap little dresses knocked out in 20 minutes. No, you'll have to do better than that. Exotic nights, indeed. Well, how about snogging in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> Here, Mr. Fenner, do you think they'll knock those out in 20 minutes? That's going a bit, you know. Of course they will. We're reorganised now, you know. Now that I've got my desk in the workroom, oh, yes, we're going to do things according to the book. No, I still don't think they'll stand for it. Of course they will, Rich. They realise it is for their own benefit. And I don't think they mind my desk being there. In fact, I think they rather like it. Having another man around the place, you know? Oh, yes, I think they like it. Do it properly, do it now. I'll do him properly and now. He's got no right to have his desk in here, dirty rotten dark. <laughs> we don't want him spying on us. Here, where's the glue? I'll gum up his ballpoint. Now, brother, <laughs> brother, Carol, please, no need to resort to childishness. Look, don't worry, our plan will work. Now, have you all read your copies of the Factories Act? Oh, the what? The book I gave you, like this one. Regulations and precautions, provisions for safety, health and welfare in factories or places where one or more persons are employed in manual processes, consolidating and modifying all previous acts hitherto. Did you read it? Oh, I tried, but I didn't like the story. <laughs> I think I'll wait for the film to come out. <laughs> oh, Lil, this is the Factories Act. Oh, what's that for? Look, you've heard of working to rule. Yes. Yeah. Well, in this book, the government tells you how to do it. They're experts. Come on now, girls, back to your benches. We're trying to step up efficiency. Oh, dear. 
That's right. Do it properly. Do it now. I oh, know, Mr. Fenner. We're just getting ready to do it properly any minute now. Now, girls, the sections that Reg is handing out are for the new blue cocktail dress. I want a dozen altogether, and each dress is to be made in 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, you can do it in 20 minutes easily. Remember, from now on, we are doing everything according to the book. Here, here, Mr. Fenner. As the responsible shop steward, I shall insist upon it. Get cracking, girls. Come on. Thank you, Paddy. There you are. You see, Reg, what did I tell you? The finest bunch of girls in the business. They